So, ByteDance updated Seed VR. Now it's the second version. Well, this is a very powerful upscale for video. Let's see the examples. Look how much sharper it gets. It doesn't hallucinate too much detail. This is especially good for landscapes, apparently. Ah, look at this. I can't spot any problem. You can see the hair. It's a little bit on the artifacty side, but it's subtle. It's pretty subtle and definitely much, much better than this. This is usable. This is not. You can definitely save a missed focus shot with this one. Ah, the dog is almost perfect. Cars look amazing. This one is the CDVR2. And across the board here, you can see it's basically the best. I think for this example, it's definitely the best. Okay, so this is the original. This is the CDVR2. For this particular case, actually, their 3 billion version is better than the 7 billion. Hmm, interesting. Now, this is open source, so if you want to run it, you need to use Conda, you install and create an environment with Python 3.10, and then install the requirements, the flash attention, use these parameters here, install Apex, and for inference, unfortunately, it does not have a graphical interface for now. So you're gonna have to use the terminal. These are the models on the hugging face you can download, but, <laughs> well, here's the bad news. For now, at least the 7 billion, it's 33 gigabytes. So you're gonna need a lot of VRAM to run this. And even the 3 billion is 13 gigabytes. So I can't run on a 3060 at least yet. So let's wait for someone in the community to quantize these models and then we can run it. <laughs> but nevertheless, pretty interesting. Very good video upscaler that is open source.